The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of the strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who come, came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Good afternoon, everyone. In today's gospel, Jesus uses a parable to link himself to a shepherd and uh, to a gate in forming a, a relationship with him. The first title, the shepherd, represents his ownership. ownership. The shepherd is the true owner of the sheep. The second title, the gate, represents his leadership. Jesus is the gate. He is the way. He is the one mediator between God and mankind. All must go through him, through his church, in order to attain heaven. You may ask, how does a shepherd retrieve the sheep that belong to him? It is good for us to be here gathering together with our pastor and our deacon because we in the church, we are the imagining of a shepherd and his sheep. Is that right? See, sí. okay, <laughs> that's the voice. The first way is by calling each of the sheep by name. He has been with them in the point that they are no longer strangers to him. He has a name for each and every one because each has a personality that is special, just, just like you and I do. When the sheep hear their name, they come and they follow. The second imagining is the sheep recognizes not only its name, but the actual voice of the shepherd. See, that's the voice. And for us, it's a much loved sound to them. A stranger's voice does not have the gentle consonants of their master and friend. At the sound of his voice, his sheep flock to him. Why does Jesus use such titles in this uh, 
fourth Sunday of Easter? I suppose you know the answer already, because you and I are very similar to sheep. The shepherd calls his sheep by name, and the magnificent God of the universe calls each one of us by name. This is the most wonderful part of uh, being sons and daughters of God. Through Jesus, God knows each one. And uh, he knows every one of us better than we know ourselves. The name he gives to each of us finds its way down to the deepest interior of our souls. And he calls us to be most truly who we are in our own self and in God. Jesus says that his sheep follow him. Those who belong to him know his voice and are willing to follow him and to let him lead the way. Now, the shepherd is a person, and knowing a person is a matter of personal relationship with all the risks and uh, the awareness that personal relationship involves. So a faithful sheep is in a personal relationship with its shepherd and loves him. That is why faithful sheep know the voice of their shepherd and follow him. The good news is whether a person is faithful or lost, he will continue to be surrounded by the love of, of the good shepherd. Either the shepherd will lead him or the shepherd will follow after him to find him when he has gone as fry. We also know that we may sometimes misunderstand the voice of God, the shepherd, that uh, we may not it resist it. Father John knows a lot about it. And uh, the burden is to hear ties uh, tight against it. But in our moments of our, our loneliness, may we can also be in big trouble We know always, as we are here in this parish, there will be always a voice that uh, this community parish can give to every one of us. As we do every time that we have an activity in this parish, giving a word to everyone, that is Jesus, the shepherd, who guide us. And by the service and the goodness of every one of us, we can have the opportunity to give to everyone that they need. This is the good thing to be part of a, a, commu a Christian community. We have our shepherd who guide us. And uh, like the shepherd with his sheep, the call is to safety, safety in spite of walls and uh, wildness all around. Christ calls lets our fear drop away, turns us right side up, and let us follow our master and friend around rocks and even to the dark valleys. 
in the heart of our Good Shepherd, the Father's love shines forth. Here I know I am welcomed and understood as I am, with all my sins and limitations, and I know with certainty that I am chosen and loved. The heart of the Good Shepherd tells us that his love is without limits. It is never exhausted and it never gives up. There we see the good news of somebody who can give us his love and feel protected in our life. There we find the source of that faithful and meek love which sets us free and makes us others free. These are the words of the Lord Jesus. These are the words also of our future vocations. In our parish, we can pray also, as we do on this weekend, the word prayer, the word day of prayer for vocations, for the priesthood and the consecrated life. We, as parish, in our, in our diocese, we are called to preach that word. Jesus calls his own sheep by name and leads them. And he has brought out of the world as all his own, he goes ahead of them. And they follow him. They follow him because they know his voice. And so in this we came dedicated also for praying for vocations. Let's, let's think also. Maybe one day there will be some of you, some of your kids in our places. What can be a, can, this can be a very big blessing for us and for our, our parish. And uh, in our families, in this parish community, in the diocesan life, we can take care of this. We are called to be part of something. As we feel part of the church, we have this mission also. May the God Shepherd as today's gospel says, guides us every day in our journey to eternal life. Christ is risen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.